whether it's Hollywood or Bollywood, Houston has become a popular destination for movie stars. Hello and welcome. I'm Ruchi Mukherjee for TV Asia at the Crown Plaza in Houston, Texas, catching up with the legendary Javed Akhtar. उसे क्यों हमने दिया दिल जो है बेमारी में कामिल जैसे आदत है जफाकी जैसे चलमेर वफाकी जैसे आता नहीं आना गम हसरत को मिटाना जैसे तमने है या गाना जैसे कहता है तमाना मुझे बेमेर वाबाद जफा पेशा खसूस से तमखाना बर अंदाज गजब जिसका हर एक नाज नजर खितना मिशाती बला जुल्फ गिरागिर गम और रंज का बानी गलों को दर्द का मुझे से तम जोर का उसका जफाकारी में माहिर जैसे तम केश से तम गर्द जो से तम पेशा है दिल पर जैसे आती नहीं उन पर जो समझता नहीं चाह जो तसली को न जाने जो तशफी को जाने जो करे कौन न पूरा करे हर काम अधूरा यही दिल रहा तस्वुर है कि ना हक उसे चाह जो न आए न बुलाए न कभी बात बिठाए न खिताब दिखाए न कोई बात सुनाए न लगी दिल की बुझाए न कली दिल की खिलाए न खबो रंज घटाए न रो रस बढ़ाए जो कहो कुछ तो खबर हो कहे शिकवे की कि जरूरत जो यही है तो न चाहो जो न चाहोगे तो क्या है न निभाओगे तो क्या है बहुत ही तरह न दिल के किस काम का दिल है कमान दो कमाल अभी चाहूँ तो मैं रख दूँ इसे तलमों से मसल कर अभी मुँह देख के रह जाओ के हैं इनको हुआ क्या इन्होंने मेरा दिल ले के मेरे हाथ से खोया Looking back so much, and for the newer generation, if we would ask you, the younger generation who have born and raised here, who don't know what ghazal is, what shairi is, how would you describe that? Well, uh, I suppose they must be if they are interested in uh, literature, if they are interested uh, in these things, they, they would know it is poetry, poetry. and shairi is another word for poetry. Now, ghazal is definitely a different genre of writing, which is not. Uh, um, very familiar to western uh, readers or listeners because uh, ghazal has not been written to my surprise as a matter of fact because it's an extremely interesting genre why it has not been written in european languages i don't know but uh, uh, it has not been uh, it is uh, sometimes when people ask me what is ghazal so i describe it as a box box of assorted biscuits so in one box you have different kind of biscuit biscuits of different taste same way ghazal is a discipline where every two lines which is one couplet uh, are complete in themselves they may or may not have anything to do or any reference or context with the, the earlier or the later couplet uh, but they are strung together because of the common meter because of the rhyme Uh, so that is what ghazal is so it is one package with say eclectic thoughts eclectic feelings you can say talk about anything in one sheer which consists of two misras which is one couplet and uh, you can say something else and totally different thing in another couplet that uh, makes it very interesting because the suddenly the horizon becomes uh, very very big you get uh, Uh, opportunity to say so much but at the same time you have to say whatever you want to say within two lines so it needs tremendous precision and you have to compress your thought within two lines so that is why perhaps it's so popular and that is that is what it uh, uh, makes it so quotable uh, there was some kind of a, a survey in indian uh, parliament that uh, the poetry that has been quoted on the floor of the parliament in last 60 years and uh, almost 93 94 percent poetry was urdu ghazal mm. and so now a lot of this is a question which i had got when i was telling everyone I'm going to interview on my on my twitter feeds and everyone's asking wanted they to know that who according to you will be the next next successors of of javed akhtar of uh, gulzar so what do you well i don't think any one of us is uh, uh, in a hurry to I know, right? uh, abdicate <laughs> but at the same time i mean uh, nobody has to take our place they will make bigger yeah, places yeah. higher places and uh, i have great hopes from the younger generation so can you have your favorites uh, well it won't be fair if i take one name yeah. because there are many but i can assure you that in india young poets who are not necessarily in that so called mushara circuit mm -hmm. uh, are writing extremely interesting poetry uh, with a totally new metaphor a new uh, language new style mm -hmm. new approach so i am very optimistic 
true. Yeah. And then, you know, there's no a number of, you know, awards have become like, does it feel, you, are you always still excited when you receive an award uh, after receiving several? No, I may not be excited after so many years, but I, every time I feel extremely thankful mm -hmm. and the sense of gratitude has never reduced uh, when people appreciate you or appreciate your work. Uh, I mean, it's very kind and generous of them. You are not the only one who is working in this world and you are no, not the only one who knows something about it the work the one is doing. But uh, when you get appreciation or award or applause, you should be thankful. So if someone wants to ask you, how do we describe Javed Akhtar? How would, how would you describe yourself? This is the shortest cut, uh, cut to um, insanity that one should start thinking about himself very seriously. You know, you should identify with your work, uh, whatever you're doing, instead of thinking about yourself. Who am I? Why was born? What is my place in this universe? And so on. These are self-indulgent questions which will not take you anywhere. Instead of thinking about your own self, think about the work that you are doing. Think about the people whom you met and see what you can do for them and whatever. Mm -hmm. So your concern should be out of you, not within you. Uh, because the moment you start thinking about yourself, who am I, what is real me, and so on and so forth, it will only take you towards complexes uh, and uh, delusions and ultimately, hopefully, insanity. Kali time me when Javedan is not writing, uh, what do you like doing? Well, uh, or reading routine, or uh, listening to music or uh, uh, um, watching TV, but uh, on TV I'm afraid I don't watch fiction. I only uh, listen to news or to any political or social discussion or chat um, and uh, meeting people. There's nothing more interesting than people. Mm -hmm. this, does social media bother you? That this, the new age of bloggers, social no, media, Twitter? No, and all social these? media doesn't bother me, but sometimes the misuse of social media does bother me because it's such a privilege. Technology has offered us such privilege. We should be really thankful to technology. And it can be used in an extremely positive manner. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. sometimes one feels sad that this privilege is misused. I mean, instead of spreading information, instead of uh, uh, spreading understanding, harmony, uh, quite often you f see that uh, hatred and uh, abuse and um, misinformation is spread through these mediums. It's not the fault of the medium. The medium is there. Uh, it's like uh, nuclear energy. It can be used for good purpose. It can be used for bad purpose. Uh, so, so is this privilege called social media. And uh, hopefully, in future, people will get uh, get over this initial excitement, and they, and when they take out all their venom, uh, I hope that a day will come when this media will be used for even more constructive, positive, and better purpose.